Hello, do you have one? I'll show y'all something here just in a minute that some uh, made for me. I'll put my oh kind of painted my hummingbird in there already. Subscribe and like. Let me show this, uh, show this to y'all. <clears throat> and a person in my family made this for me. Isn't that cool? Y'all know who that is, huh? <laughs> <clears throat> but a person in my family made this for me. It really looks good on the blue cap. <clears throat> Wouldn't look good on a, you know, a red cap or whatever, but it looks good on a blue cap. It really does. Look at that paint on that palette. And look at that brush. Isn't that cool looking? Let me work on this one now. Try to add a little bit of yellow ochre to that one. Yes, subscribe and like. <clears throat> oh, 
go. Have you ever seen a hummingbird before? Flying one, flying backwards. <clears throat> I love hummingbirds. Right now I'm doing this flower, but um, oh, see, that's a hummingbird at, at the flower. But uh, <clears throat> hummingbirds can fly, I think, backwards. <clears throat> and uh, but to me, I love hummingbirds. I always have. I always love those. Oh, hummingbirds, they so sweet looking. And they're very fast, too. Very, very fast little, little birds. They're very fast. But they're real small. I'm using <clears throat> some acrylic paints today. That's what I'm using, acrylic paints. Let me show you. Here's the acrylic paint I'm using. <clears throat> uh, I think I brought this from the Dollar Tree. <clears throat> and uh, you can probably, you know, get it offline, like from Amazon.com. Or you can, you know, go in the stores, buy this paint uh, from like the Otter Tree. And, but anyway, just plain old yellow. Just plain old yellow. Sometimes I'm mixing it with a little <coughs> bit of yellow ochre, but that's about it. That cap cool. Yeah, a person in my family made that for me. This petal, <clears throat> flowers have petals on them. Speaking of flowers, I'm gonna be, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to be planting me some in my flower garden. I'm gonna be doing a flower garden, and uh, I can show you the progress of the flowers when they start to grow. <clears throat> There we go. I know it kind of looks like a rose, don't it? <clears throat> now, I spent many, many years doing this. And, uh, <clears throat> and years of experience. If you start to do a flower, you might just want to draw your flower in first and then paint it. That's what I had to do. This is just canvas panel, not like a regular canvas. 
I use the paint mill 16 by 20s. And I order all my <clears throat> I order all my uh, brushes and paints from Amazon.com. That's where I get them from. That's where I buy all my paints <clears throat> is through Amazon.com. I guess they sent me the wrong kind because I'm not used to painting on this, but I have these uh, acrylic paints, so I decided to just go ahead and, you know, go ahead and do it. You know, when I was in school, I would do arts and crafts. I made pot holders, basket weaving. Uh, <clears throat> what else did I do? Pottery. I made pottery. Still found a clay. Let that butter, butterflies have lights on it, don't it? Anyway, well, yeah, that's you know that's when I first got my start doing uh <clears throat> just doing you know art in school. I never learned how to do crochet though. I want to. Okay, this is real cool and it's real different. I'm going to go ahead and sign this one. <clears throat> I'd like to thank you all for watching. Okay. Thanks for watching. And this is what it looks like. Check it out, guys. Is that cool? Bye.